Hello again. In front of me, I have an AWA 1990s Featherlight Control Cassette Walkman. It's uh, model HSPX310. These were very popular in the 1990s and the quality of the build, the sound, uh, the finish, they really did um, look good. Charming Walkman, really nice to hold, decent design. and You could tell they would withstand being dropped. Um, they really do feel nicely put together, nicely made. Nice bit of edge trim along there, as you can see. The, these are the Featherlight controls for um, the uh, play, reverse, and stop. You've got traditional control for the volume, and um, here is is basically a slide sort of switch which changes the um, wind mechanism, so you go forwards or back basically. So that's really it with just a few other switches for standard sort of things like tape, Dolby. We've got the loudness control. There's also a hold there and uh, it was compatible with a remote as well. So um, these did have proprietary batteries, but they also came with these special um, sort of slider things. So you, instead of the the double AA batteries, you'd have to have the triple AA batteries in there. So uh, they didn't last too long, if I remember rightly, but then I was always playing it. One word of advice about these Walkmans is do not buy them now unless you have one that's been specially fixed for you because they will all not be working. And the reason for that is they have a series of capacitors inside and they deteriorate and they leak and they basically stop the units from working. Um, when they're on their way out, sometimes you will get strange things going on with the controls, so it won't respond properly, and it will do different things um, to what you are telling it to do. And also the sound obviously deteriorates badly. You get lots of humming, um, maybe some high pitch sounds as well. So um, if you see one of these that says untested, the sale on eBay then I would just presume that it's it's not working and the um, capacitors will all need to be replaced inside it's a fairly tricky job you have to have decent soldering skills which is why as yet I haven't attempted it myself now I'm just going to show you a couple of others here which are affected the same way so th this is a slightly earlier model so this is a HSP 505 so it's the same kind of principle slightly different um, and it's less well it's more boxy I would say it, it seems to not be as quite as rounded as, as the other one this model will suffer from these issues with the capacitors the Tantalem capacitors were notorious on these units so they all need to be replaced they're all very small and you may struggle to do a reasonable job so it's always it's, if you have one that you want to trust to someone to do a good job then you really do need to find someone who can help you there um, I'm thinking of um, offering up actually some of these to anyone who's watching the channel I've got several here they're all bought reasonably cheaply, and, but they've all got issues. So um, I've got uh, my original one and then the two 310s as well. Well, actually, this one isn't a 310. This is a uh, 510, but it looks identical to a 310. It's just got slight difference there on the marking. And uh, these ones, as I said before, the P5 um, 505s. So... If anyone would like to have a go at any of these and try fixing them, then I'm willing to send four of them and you can keep two of them if you like. As long as you can fix me one or two, that would be great. What can you do if you really like AORs and you don't want to dud? <laughs> okay. You have a couple of options here. You can either go slightly earlier. This is an AOR and it is still working, at least for me. 
I do believe they can go slightly slightly wrong these ones but this is a earlier model so this is a PC 202 model and uh, pretty funky I like the uh, slogan there AWA makers of the world's most advanced high-tech headphone stereo for music lovers everywhere Dolby B and C on this one and uh, this this is obviously more sort of chunky, easier to work on. And in fact, this one still works. Everything sounds great. And it's got the radio graphic equalizer on here as well. And uh, it's also auto reverse, but it's, it, it's, it's nice. I, I like it, but it just doesn't have the same kind of charm as, uh, as some of these other AWARs. In my hand now, I'm showing another AWAR, which again is a vintage one, but you can tell it's it's even kind of cheaper than this one. So uh, so these are kind of like your options. So this is a HSP12, and uh, this one is working really well as well. Although it you know it's it's nice to look at, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be using it on a daily basis. I think I'd I'll be using that one <laughs> and this one here. Okay, so let's have a look at some alternatives to these AWARs and uh, see what else is out there. Here is a Panasonic. There's a series of S-type Walkmans, cassette Walkmans. Now, these will invariably need attention. This one, actually, in my hand does need attention. I've got some slightly lower model numbers which I've been able to fix up myself and uh, what happens with them is the um, the bouts basically need to be changed and they're very very fine cassette bouts they are still sourceable and I did get some from a seller on eBay I think it was from abroad but um, I did I did manage to find them now these are quite similar in a way to the AWAS to look at and um, they're obviously um, sort of borrowing some of the influence, I would say. And uh, they are nice machines. When you go to take everything apart, you will have to desolder on these. Um, so you've got two PCB boards, if I remember rightly, and they do need to be desoldered so you can get to the location of the bout, which is kind of in between. Yes, you will need to uh, crack out the soldering iron but uh, well worth doing for those because as far as I'm aware I've got quite a few of these Panasonics and uh, they don't suffer from any uh, capacitor issues like the AWAR. Here is the Sony. So Sony's are very well put together. A good solid alternative to an early AWAR. So they're a few years behind, or I should say a few years in front of these AWARs, and, um, but full metal and uh, got the built in here for the battery. But it, just a nice, a nice cassette Walkman and uh, similar to the Panasonic in that the head is mounted in the, in the lid. So, um, not had any issues with this one. Um, anyone like to put any comments it, it, if they have found issues with these Sony's then I'll be interested to hear. You go a bit more sort of retro and um, you've got the Sony Walkman here which is the metal kind of version of the classic look Sony Walkman and this is the um, very nice sort of uh, mini Walkman at the time. So uh, this all, this one works nicely and so does this one. All got the double headphone sockets as well. Okay, well thank you for watching and I will do some more videos again soon. Bye for now.